Okay, so this is a review for the sake of the people who wrote reviews on this guitar who really just don't understand anything about guitars. This is a Mitchell, the D120, $149, superior guitar. This guitar will keep up with any guitar, any acoustic guitar in the market. Sound-wise, I'm amazed by this guitar. I went in looking for a cheap guitar to take out to the park to do, to just play at the park and to hang out with my wife and sing some songs. So this is the Mitchell D120. The headstock, quite beautiful. Okay. Um, people complain about the fact that the, they doesn't stay in tune. I'm gonna to touch on, on that. Look at the bindings. The bindings are really quite well done. The nut, the bindings, the head pegs for $149. Those are not crummy head pegs. They are uh, I don't know who makes them, but they are quite decent, quite weighty, and the guitar stays in tune. Of course you gotta always you know, when you play, especially strumming hard, you know, you run into having to tune, but it's a guitar. You do tune them. Look at the back of this thing. I mean, that's a pretty guitar, okay? Maple back, maple sides, okay? And the bridge, I don't know. I, I don't know what the fretboard is. It's not rounded. It does not have an arch. You know what I mean by an arch, where the frets go this way. It's flat, okay? And the Rosetta is nice. It's a lifetime warranty. So people who piss and moan, about, oh, my guitar is this, that, and the other thing. The guitar's got a lifetime warranty, so get real, okay? Don't piss and moan about your strings and, you know, the guitar came through untuned and all these stupid remarks that people make, these poor remarks, I shouldn't say stupid, but listen to this. <laughs> showing you that all the strings are ringing every single fret I checked them all all the way up to the very top Oops. this is not a guitar to be afraid to buy I'd buy another one in an instant if I need one in fact I bought a friend of mine a 12 string and that's what turned me on to this guitar Thing is really well made. I'll tell you something else. This guitar, refinished, properly refinished. There's in the sound hole where most of the people lose it, it has clear coat in there and it's smooth. It's not rough. Okay. Now, this is a laminate top. This is not a true spruce top at $149. I wouldn't think you would think you'd want one. But the fact is, this guitar is quite elegant for the price line. Tell you something else they did on this particular guitar. I looked out. It happened to be in the store. I bought it. Okay. It's been sitting overnight here in this room cold. Okay. And I don't know if you could see it, but there's a little nice little look to it. It has one here and here. It's symmetrical. They planned this out very nicely. I mean, this is look at the bindings on this thing. I mean, really. For 149 bucks. So <laughs> And it sounds quite boomy. Before, I was looking at a Yamaha in this price range, and it was actually $50 more. I was looking at the Yamaha, and it was not the quality of this thing. Didn't look good. Didn't look finished. Like the headstock on this, as I showed you, the headstock is quite nice, right? Completely lacquered. No, uh, Nothing satin on this guitar. Satin is kind of like a... A step saver in manufacturing. So people do satin guitars. People say they like them, but truthfully, in my opinion, it's kind of like the cheap way out of refinishing a guitar. 
So they put a satin finish on it, which means they don't polish it. But the guitar really sounds nice. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you a few tips. Number one, you're gonna buy a guitar. Always check your intonation. The intonation on these guitars is really good. I won't say perfect, but they're very close and it, and it is correctable. That's number one. Number two, always check your bindings. Go all around, look at all the bindings, make sure nothing is, nothing's broken, nothing's damaged, nothing looks ugly, that the finish is proper, you know. Always check that. Always check your headstock, make sure there's no damage to it, okay? Always check the perimeter of the hole in here, around the road, inside the rosetta. Always check it, make sure it's it looks good, it's smooth, it's been finished, okay? Always check those things. Um, on this case, this has a lifetime warranty. Always check the back of the bridge, okay? Make sure that the back of the bridge is not lifting. That's the real sign of a cheap guitar, okay? Uh, I'm a Gretsch man, generally. I have uh, six Gretsch guitars or so, and they're nice guitars, and... You know, I'm a doodler. I, I do a lot of scales is all I do. I, I play a lot of scales. But the bridge is nice. If you look at the bridge, okay, it has the offsets for proper intonation in here. I don't know if you could really see that, but um, I'm using my cell phone. so. But you can see the uh, proper uh, distancing for the bridge. Okay, there's nothing to be afraid of buying this guitar, let me tell you. Um, the other thing is you check the back, you make sure that oh, in the back, everything is good. You check the, the top and make sure that the, the, uh, the neck joint is good and secure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really, and then you have to realize that when you go to pick up a guitar, right? The guitar traveled thousands of miles at high altitude. So when you get the guitar, it's going to be a little roughed up. It's not going to be it's not going to be perfect. It's going to need adjustment. Now, Mitchell, this is Guitar Center's guitar. This is their in-house guitar. Um, they give you a free setup. So when people cry about their strings, you know my strings break, my guitar is out of tune, my this, my that. That's a bunch of horse manure, generally speaking. I've you know I I've played the worst possible guitars. And even, even those, you know, are, are pretty well made. There's one guitar, I'm not going to mention it, but there's one guitar that I just found out about and, and it was broken, came through, uh, and it broke because of the string tension. Now, this guitar sat all night in this room. This is not a humidity controlled room, although the humidity is reasonably good. It's, 40, it's uh, at 40%. But the fact is that this guitar sound um, played. I picked it up, played well. I just bought it yesterday. Um, and I just picked it up, wrapped it in a bag, and took it home. Sat in my car for about four hours as I went shopping and did other errands. And on top of the fact that it travels at 35,000 miles, uh, 35,000 feet high when it gets here, doesn't come by truck necessarily. It come by truck. It might come not by come by truck, but the bottom line is, in any case, it's not opportune great conditions that this thing should travel in. This is a wooden instrument, so you know have a little understanding about the fact that when the guitar comes through, it's not going to be perfect. That's why they give you the setup. Okay, Guitar Center has been really good. I mean, I, I'm impressed with Guitar Center, the salesman, everything else. And um, I gotta be honest with you, this guitar is not something to be afraid of. So that's why I say check your, your intonations, right? When you get the guitar. If it's wildly off, don't take the guitar. If there's something wildly wrong, don't take the guitar. Order another one, be patient, order another one. Human beings are not perfect. So when something goes wrong, just do it again. Order the next one, return that one. That's all you got to do. They allow for it. Good company, right? So I just wanted to do this video to set you up so that you can see that there's nothing to be afraid of.
buying this guitar. It's a great guitar. Uh, really impressed. It keeps up with, uh, I've been playing it and doodling with it. And uh, in comparison to this guy, which is my Gretsch, okay? And this one is actually a bang around guitar. It's a cheaper guitar. I love it. And I'm falling in love with this one. And uh, quite frankly, my more expensive guitars, this keeps up with. I mean, this keeps up with guitars that are in the $2,000 range. So I'm pretty impressed. I'm really impressed with the sound. Sound is marvelous. So I'm just letting you know. Okay? Over and out.